I'm Harald and today I'll explain you how to do modern bidding. Mm, in online advertising, you usually have different goals. The list of usual goals is either cost per month, might be ROI goal, or a CPO goal, so cost per order, cost per acquisition, or whatever. We call it cost per acquisition, also really performance driven as a it's a profit maximization goal. Of course, it's hard for software to handle different goals, uh, but uh, and we are able to, with a trick, to map all these different goals to one goal, to the one and only goal. And in fact, that's the already mentioned profit maximization. Why is it possible? Yeah. If your goal is to spend 10k per month, of course it's not simply to spend money, but to maximize your revenue under the constraint that the ad spends per month is 10k. So in fact it's a profit maximization given a constraint. Same for ROI or CBO goals. Constraint is ROI is 1.2 or whatever and or CBO might be $100. So, it's enough to explain how profit maximization works, and that's what we will do right now. Um, yeah, some formulas, but only three lines approximately. So, profit is revenue minus cost. Revenue usually is generated by conversions. So, each conversion generates a revenue, the revenue is a conversion value. The conversion value is the revenue per conversion and that's the total revenue. Cost, of course, for example, Google AdWords and all the other um, systems being at Yandex and second price auction models where you pay per click, so per click price. So the costs result because you have to pay the clicks. Number of clicks. And of course, per click you have to pay the price per click. For example, if you bid one dollar, you might pay up to one dollar, but might be slightly less because it's a second price auction model. So if you bid one dollar, and the next bid is let's say ninety cent, you only have to pay the ninety cent. So slightly less. I call it effective effective CPC. If the max bid is $1, the effective CPC might be 90 cents. Okay, one last line. Of course, the conversions reside because some users click the banner, or redirect to the customer's landing page, and then hopefully buy something. This would be the conversion. So the number of conversions simply is the number of clicks multiplied by conversion rate. 100 clicks, conversion rate of 3% would reside in three conversions. Let's keep all the other terms. On the fix and effective CPC. Let's have a look. Obviously, we have the number of clicks. Here again, nothing new. And the effective CPC curve. Let's talk about this first. Of course, if you increase the bids, you have to pay more. The effective CPC will, be, will increase if you bid two dollar. Of course. You, bid, you have to pay more than um, only bidding one dollar. So, what does it look like? First observation: obviously, the effective CPC depends on the max CPC you bid. So, might be you bid one dollar or two dollar or only ten cent. If you bid only ten cent, probably there are a high number of competitors that have max CPCs of 10 cents or more, so probably you really have to pay 10 cents. If you bid one dollar, the next highest bid of a competitor might be 90 cents, slightly less. And as soon as your bid increased dramatically, the 
competition might be reduced, so perhaps you only have to pay $1.20 perhaps. So it's a curve looking like this. So increasing bits result in increasing effective CPC. And that's what you have to pay. That's the effective CPC. Let's have a look at the number of clicks. Again, you have different maximum CPC bits. If your bits are too low, <coughs> you never <laughs> win an auction. Your banner won't be, or your ad won't be displayed. So the volume probably is no impressions and of course no clicks. If you increase a bit, the number of clicks might increase. For example, this might be the first page bit. So the um, bit, you have to bid at least if you want that your ad is shown on the first result page of Google. And of course this is, uh, corresponds to an increased volume and if you increase your bits even more, you have a really high probability always to be always be shown on the first page. Additionally, if your bits are high, your ad is shown on the top and not somewhere else, increasing the probability of being clicked by a user. So um, the number of clicks increases. Yeah. Um, how do we receive this curve? It's simply by estimating. Of course, the bidding system places different bids, sometimes um, $1 or a bit less or a bit more. So different bids reside in different observation and we simply fit a curve using curve fitting algorithms or um, numerical optimization methods. And um, afterwards, we have a curve of course, we have to take into account the structure of the form. And then we have these market curves. So first market curves, the effective CPC, obviously has to do something with uh, com competition. If your bids are low, there's a high competition because there are a lot of other competitors bidding at these prices. Uh, competition might reduce for higher bids. And of course, the number of clicks um, as already mentioned. So, these are the so-called market curves because the values effective CPC and number of clicks depend on the bid. That's not the case for the conversion rate and the conversion value. The probability of a user to convert to buy something after clicking the ad does not depend on the initial bid you place. Same for the shopping basket value. It's simply independent. So these are no market curves, but nevertheless, these values have, have to be estimated um, later on. Okay, so let's assume we have estimated these values too. Then we have everything we need to calculate the profit. Usually, it looks like this. Again, a max CPC bit. The profit roughly looks like this. Low bits, no impressions, no clicks, no volume. Of course, you don't have to pay the clicks. The cost is zero, but your revenue is zero because you don't have clicks, and there's no chance to for a user to convert. Increasing the bits results in an increased volume, of course, increased spendings, and even increased cost per click, the effective CPC. And if you are a bit stupid and increased your bit too much, then uh, you will lose money. So your profit will be negative because uh, the money you have to pay for one click isn't worth the revenue taking into account the probability of converting. So, of course, obviously, there's a, a max profit somewhere. And, of course, this maximum profit belongs to a certain bit, which we call optimal CPC bit. And that's the bit we place. This, what I described, is done for each keyword in the account. So it's a ten thousands of keywords. We have 
10,000 um, times two market curves and conversion rate and conversion values. And doing this for each keyword results in an optimal bit for each keyword. Okay. Later on, I tell you how to estimate conversion rate and conversion value. But that's it. That's the base bit we simply place. Of course, there are the bit adjustments and um, modify the bits for different devices, age, gender, topic, geo, or whatever. And this are taken, has to be taken into account too. So, profit maximization. Done. Thanks.